Yes, you know. Blessings, miracles, healing, whatever that you need was already done. It's already available. It's just in their system. And only a believer needed to discern the ability of finding a key, a principle of how can I open the key of healing? How can I open the key of prophetic? How can I open the key of financial breakthrough? Because everything is already set. So if you understand the spiritual life as a system, it will be easier for you now to recognize and to have solution on their basis. Amen. Amen. Am I talking to you right? Yes. Just as he says, if you confess that Jesus is the Lord and you confess on your sins, according to Romans 10, verse number 9, you'll be what? Forgiven and you'll be saved. Yes. It means the only process for me to enter into the limb of salvation is by confessing. Yes. He never said I should make fasting. He never said I should pray times. He never said I should go to mountain. As far as I confess Jesus is Lord, automatically I've got a priest for the key to unlock the door of salvation. Yeah. I'm not to yeah. So if I enter the door of salvation, I should know if I am saved, I will be on that sitting room forever. Until I decide some alternative of where should I go with my Christianity. Amen. So there are believers who are expecting God to do wonders because they repented, not knowing that it's just a matter of wasting time. Amen. God is done with the system. All you need when you are saved. Yes. Now you start finding another alternative doors. Yes. Which door can I get open yes. for me to succeed with my spiritual life? Amen. It's just as a teacher. Who is at school? Oh. He's already teaching, but there is a grade above him. Oh. But ability of his education cannot take him there. Oh. So you find it during the time of holiday, instead of him staying home and studying, he still go and keep on learning. Because there is another opportunity that his qualification cannot take him there. Yeah. Until he go and upgrade his education. Yeah. That upgrading is a process of a hybriding your principle. Of getting into another dimension, oh, yeah. which when you come back, you no longer be on the lower level, but you'll be operating on the higher levels. Yeah. Yeah. Is it clear light? Yeah. Am I talking and teaching you? Yeah. Now, so Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Mm -hmm. But listen to me, it's not everything that is in the principle of asking. Ah. There are things you ask and you receive. Mm. There are things you ask and you don't receive. So true, so true. Get up, teacher. Am I talking to you? I am talking. Yes. There are things you ask you don't receive. Just as on your phone I have been saying this, if you place a star, 131 hatch, it will give you balance for your talk time. Because that number is in their system. Now try to do star 3114. It will tell you this number doesn't exist. Because in their system there is no such a number. Do in a matter of ignorance. That's why I say my people are destroyed by lack of what? Knowledge. They don't really understand what they are praying for. You don't go on your knees and say, God, I pray for money. Wherever money is, listen to me. You are wasting time. You are wasting time. You are wasting time. Money is not found by prayer. Money is locked in another door. That door doesn't need a prayer for you to enter. This is the reason why even in unbelievers they have money. Uh -huh. The reason why Christians are broke is because they pray for money. Uh -huh. Don't pray for money. The Am I talking to you? Yes. You find a person who is a drunk is driving this big, big car. Uh -huh. A person who is whatever is doing, well, but these people are getting money. Uh -huh. You live Shaka Talaba. Uh -huh. Every day and night, nothing is happening. Because you are making a mistake out of ignorance. Yes. Am I talking to you? Yes. Am I talking to you? Yes. You find some people saying, Oh God, I pray may you give me a husband. There is no husband given by God. <laughs> According to the spiritual principles. Even the son of Abraham, Isaac, the time what the first man to get to get married after blessings of God. Abraham had to send his servant. He said, Go to my village, look for a woman and propose. Look for a woman and what? Propose. It's not automatically done. 
like when you are walking a woman who just say, I hug you, you are my best friend. No. It's a process. Uh, of you go out and dress well and propose somebody who dress yes. well. Wow. Am I talking to you? Yes. God give a man a chance to choose what he wants. Because it's you who choose. That's why he tells you. When you get married, don't leave that woman. Why? He never choose for you. Yes. You ne he never choose for it. It was you who choose. This is my wife, God. Bless me. Then God says, listen, whatever I build it together, no man should break. Because it is you who go and choose. Amen. 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 Amen.